Okay, let's see if the system will hold pressure now. Yeah, I can hear it leaking out somewhere. It's getting a little bit of pressure, but it's leaking. So let's go find that leak. Let me show you how to do that. To check for leaks, we need a, like a mild dish soap mixed with water. And we're going to spray it on all the joints of the plumbing, all the PEX crimp joints, and we're going to look for where we see bubbles coming out of the, uh, the connections. And that's going to signify where there's a leak. Now, right now, we know there's a really serious leak, so it's pretty obvious where it's coming from, but I'm going to illustrate it anyway. So, let's take a little dish soap. and some water see all this foam? that's what we want we want it to be really sudsy not too sudsy but like not too thick not like a lot of dish soap just a little bit of dish soap with some water in a spray bottle and now we can spray out, spray out this sudsy solution on the joints we're going to spray our solution on the joint that I know is leaking. And we're going to see the air coming out. So to attempt to fix this, I'm going to re-crimp all of these. Let's see if we plugged all the leaks. Sounds pretty good, rising really fast. We're going to get to 50 PSI. Okay, we're settling around 52 PSI right now. So we have to give this thing like 10 minutes to see if we can maintain 52 PSI pressure. So I'm going to give it 10 minutes. And then I'm going to come back, and if it's still 52, then I'm going to spray every single one of my connections on the cold water line to make sure there's not just a teeny little slow leak anywhere that isn't showing up on here in 10 minutes. Okay, it's 10 minutes later, and we're still at 52. So I'm just going to spray my soapy water on every connection just to make absolutely sure that there are no leaks. Oh my god. Okay, no leaks, so now it's time to release the pressure. This is the fun part. I am going to open my washing machine cold water valve. Check this out. Pretty cool, huh? Since my drinking water is on a completely different uh, system, it's not connected to the hot water or the cold water at all, um, I have to put on a half inch PEX to three quarter inch male threaded fitting so I can put this pressure gauge fitting onto the drinking water system and do the same test over there.
Okay, so drinking water system. It looks like just a hair under 60 PSI. And let's go spray all the drinking water piping fittings. And the first fitting for that that we hit is right here in the bathroom. I'm not seeing any bubbles over there. That looks good. And we hit another fitting right here. This is the drinking water for the kitchen. And nothing over there. Hit this guy right there. Not seeing any bubbles.